Greetings, dear ones, I am. I am. Crying a magnetic service. There are those who would say it happens too quickly. My partner didn't do the exercise. He didn't breathe enough. He didn't spend enough time getting ready to cross the bridge. And you just heard the information. The bridge exists. And it's strong. And he gives allowance for his higher self. Permission for his higher self to take his hand. Instantly, he's in touch with what to him and others may seem like chaos. But he's learned about it. He's not afraid of it. And what he finds is the love of God every single time he does it. And he can do it while he speaks, and while he walks, and while he sleeps. Because the bridge is always there. What about you? Now I'm going to say this many times. I know who is here. I know the lifetimes that are represented. I know the issues that you're working on. I know what being alone feels like. Dear human being, because I sense it. I know the issues in the room. I know what fear feels like. Because you give it to me all the time. Oh, there are so many of you here. In the cave of creation, there is a crystal with many rings. And the crystal has your name upon it. And the rings represent each lifetime on earth, Lemurian. Most of you here were attracted to this meeting because it was home. Not all of you, but most. Listen to me, Lemurian. You could have been a Lemurian through thousands of years of development. You didn't have to be the one that was 50,000 years ago. It could have been the one that was 40 or even 35 for the society lasted a long time. I'll tell you why. Because Lemurians lived a long time. <laughs> Some of you have lifetimes in excess of 800 Earth years. You know what it's like not to age. How would you like to reawaken that attribute? Because it's there. It's on the other side of the bridge. And yet, at the same time, it is within your DNA. I'm about to give you a secret. The bridge is not between me and you. The bridge is between you and you. It is the bridge of the DNA. For the chaos that we speak of, the love of God that we speak of, the door that gets pushed on that we speak of, the bridge is in your DNA. And all you do is awaken pieces and parts that have always been there that you call communicating with God inside you. There are those who think they can hide from God not understanding that trillions of pieces of DNA in their body goes wherever they go. And they can go into the cave and hide. And their higher self is there. And God is there. 
there are those in the room hiding in a cave. I know who you are. And there is no judgment from God and there's not one angel that will come and rip you out of a place you have chosen to be in. But there are dozens of angels who will take your hand if you willingly step into the light. And that's the difference. Human free choice. That's the difference. I know where we are. Synchronicity put this together on this mountaintop. And this is the mountaintop I wanted my partner to present on. This is the one that is extremely meaningful to some of you who are royalty in this land leaders in this land. Oh, crying, you must say that to every group. I do. Because those of the kind like you who would sit before me come with willing free choice to listen to the esoteric, the channeling. Because you have something in your DNA that brings you to the chair. And that something is the old soul in you. The one who is the leader and has been over and over in these things. Even those of you who are not awakened this lifetime, it doesn't change the fact that you were royalty here. And there were thousands of years and many human beings who participated on the dirt that you stand upon. In a little while, you're going to stand at the edge of the crater. And you're going to say, oh, how nice. And when you do, you're going to be standing on dirt. And you're going to remember Some of you are going to remember what it was like to start all this and the part that you played. Now, why do I bring this up at all? One reason, one reason, one reason. Because your DNA was open then. And the Pleiadian part was open then. And the interdimensional part was open then. And the bridge was exposed. You had a quantum feeling. You knew things about the universe, intuitively about your bodies. Intuitively, it gave you 800 year lifespans. Intuitively. These are the things that are reawakening in your time. Reawakening in your time. It's why I came. It's why you're in the chair, Lemurian. That is the message of cry on this day. In a little while, I'll give you more. Instructions. How to best cross the bridge. Getting out of 3D. And just being. And so